Hi, and welcome to another episode of All Things Considered. Tonight I'd like to speak to you on Seattle's police accountability issues and the fact that the police department has ba basically no accountability whatsoever. Back in 2012, a federal judge found that the Seattle Police Department was really bad and lacking in their police accountability and wanted more accountability to be shown. They worked out a deal for the Seattle Police Department to comply with, but since then, nothing really has been done. Now, the mayor of Seattle, Jenny Durkin, uh, came to uh, uh, police accountability remedies. She said that they should be uh, worked on next union contract or they should be fixed when the next union contract happens. A federal judge ordered a new plan from the city. Community groups think the one the mayor delivered won't work. Now here it says in a court filing Thursday, Mayor Jenny Durkin presented a federal judge her plan for bringing Seattle back into compliance with a 2012 agreement to reform the city police department. 2012, 2019, that's like seven years it's taken seven years for this to get started. Seven years for it to be done. Now, Seattle has had a really bad problem since about the year 2000 forward. Seattle has always kind of been one to kind of wait till the day after to start something or we got time, we can work on it later, sort of like that. But this is something that's very, very important and it deals with Seattle as a whole. It says here, the mayor's office intended the filing to be a prudent approach toward further assessment of issues with the city's police accountability system that were identified in May by Judge James Robart of the U.S. District Court for Western Washington. But community groups and the city's Civilian Community Police Commission, CPC, have argued the time for assessment has passed. Compliment, com, com, pleaded, oh, completed as part of the CPC's many years of work and that the uh, mayor's approach sidesteps the judge's demands. Well, actually, the whole city, city council has sidestepped that the judge's demands. Notably, Durkin's proposed path forward does not include any request to the city's two police unions to return to the bargaining table to address the judge's concerns. Now, I'm going to get on their ass. I am sick and tired of this. I plan on running for mayor in 2025 of Seattle, and I will be damned if I have a police department that's going to abuse their power and in a police union that thinks they're holier than thou. I ain't going to let it stand on my watch. Now, y'all think it's just a joke. Y'all think I'm just doing this because it gives me something to do. No, I'm doing all these videos, and if you watch all of the videos that I've done, for the most part, things that deal with Seattle, I'm letting you know that when I get into Seattle and, and, and I run for a mayor, then I, if I win, there's going to be a new sheriff in town. I am sick and tired of Seattle being taken advantage of by the people that are destroying Seattle. There's a lot of things that I want to do. And if you go through all of my ramblings and all of my mumblings, and you can take out the good parts and put them all together, you'll see what kind of plan I have for Seattle. Now, I'm getting sick and tired of this where people say, Oh, well, we'll just work on it tomorrow. No, tomorrow is today. Today is the day that we have to get things done. Now, it says here that uh, notably Durkin's proposed path forward does not include any request to the city's two police unions to return to the bargaining table, an approach called for by the CPC. Durkin has shunned the idea from the beginning, as have several labor unions in the city, arguing it would be a dereliction of the collective bargaining process. Well, of course, you don't want your toes stepped on. I get that. 
You don't want anybody to encroach into your territory. I get that too. Well, do what you are supposed to do. Get it done. Don't wait till it's too late. Seattle is too important to allow this to corrode the city. Additionally, officials have pointed out that the city cannot force the unions to reopen negotiations. Yeah, the city can. The city can do that. They just don't want to. They're afraid to. I don't know what the deal is. But I'll tell you what, if I was there, I'd put my foot up the uh, city uh, union's ass so far, they would be tying shoelaces for the next year. I'm telling you. Um Instead, Durkin's office is promising to prioritize Robart's concerns and the next round of contract talks with the unions. That ain't going to work. Scheduled to begin next year. That ain't going to work. It's too late. That's too, there's too much time. When a police officer can bust a woman in the face so hard that her eye gets popped out of his socket, get fired to make it look good, and then rehired quietly behind everybody's back and have their paycheck reinstated plus benefits backed up and repaid there's something wrong with that I don't know what kind of a city you guys want Seattle to be but I want Seattle to be the city that it's meant to be not the city that somebody working on the fly thinks it's going to be at the same time the mayor has hired a team of outside consultants which is proposing a comparative study between Seattle and 20 other cities. Now, fuck that. Sorry for the curse words, but screw that. The time for talk is over. Y'all had seven years to talk about this stuff and get it done. Y'all put it off to the last second. Now, now the judge is back to you in a corner and you want to try to get stuff done? You could have done had this finished. You could have done had this finished. It says here they want to get a bunch of people together and talk about it. The team would also conduct a detailed examination of how the current contracts would or would not hold officers accountable. Officers put on a badge. That is their uniform. They pledged an oath when they became police officers to uphold and to protect the citizenry of the city, of the citizens. You guys are there. We are in your capable hands to be protected. That's why you're there. You shouldn't be allowed to just get away with murder. It says here, the team would also conduct a detailed examination of how the current contracts would or would not affect officers accountable, hold the officers accountable, specifically examining the circumstances that led to the reinstatement last year of Officer Adlai or Adley, Adley Shepard, who originally was fired for punching a handcuffed woman. That's putting it politely. He did not just punch a handcuffed woman. He punched a woman in the face so hard that it knocked her eyeball out of the socket. You know what? Okay, you want to hire Adley Shepard back? That's fine. I'll tell you what. You should get the meanest, toughest son of a bitch that's on your police force, and you should have him handcuff Adley Shepard, and you should have him punch Adley Shepard in the face so hard that it pops his eyeball out of its socket. I think that would be justice. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. On Friday, Shepard's reinstatement was overturned by a King County Superior Court judge. This process is important, the city argued, because Robart had... Robart has not said with certainty what a proper accountability system looks like. Oh, come on. Y'all know what it looks like. Y'all know what it means. Y'all got a conscience and y'all got a brain. Y'all know what the city uh, accountability should be. Y'all took an oath. Come on now. Y'all ain't stupid. Come on. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Why do I have to do this? Seattle should be a city that other people should strive to want to be, not be afraid to be.
Now you got cities that are afraid to become Seattle. Seattle should be such a great city with such a great police department and such a great city council and a good mayor and citizens that love Seattle so much that other cities would strive to be just like Seattle. Instead of Seattle trying to be like San Francisco, I want Seattle to become so great and such a great place to live for everybody from the lowest of income people, which is the uh, uh, $12,000 a year or less people on disability and welfare, to the ones making billions of dollars a year. I would love for someday for that Seattle, for San Francisco to want to become that. Instead of Seattle trying to become San Francisco, I would love to see San Francisco someday want to become Seattle. That's what I would like. It says here that uh, no proper accountability system. They don't know what to look. Oh, well, we can't do nothing. The police department said oh, we can't do nothing because we don't know what a, a proper accountability system looks like. You know right from wrong. When you do something wrong, you know it's wrong. Adley Shepard, when he popped that woman in the face so hard it knocked her eyeball out of the socket, he knew that was wrong. He knew when he went back to the precinct and it was all said and done, I'm sure he thought about it and he said, man, I shouldn't have done that. That was, that was really wrong. She didn't really hurt me. She just kind of kicked at me a little bit when she was handcuffed and put in a car. Y'all need to start thinking about what it would be like if you were that person being put in the car. Would you go peacefully or would you try to kick and, 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 and keep from getting put in there? And how would you feel if you were the one getting your eyeball knocked out of its socket? Yeah, talk about accountability then. You all know what accountability is and you all know what the right uh, uh, accountability system looks like. It says here that uh, the outcome will be objective, evidence-based observations about the strengths and weaknesses of the city, accountability system which will assist the city in collective bargaining, the city wrote in its filings. Okay, let me read that again. It says here, um, oh, that was a uh, uh, notification I got from my Facebook. It says the outcome will be objective. Evidence-based observations about the strengths and weaknesses of the city's accountability system will be, will be which will help assist the city in collective bargaining. The city wrote in its filings, the city also believes that the assessment will benefit the Seattle Police Department's SPD and increase public confidence. It will not increase public confidence. It will help the Seattle Police Department, but it will not create uh, public con confidence. It says here the findings, uh, observations, and policy alternatives contained in the accountability assessment will influence and inform the city's collective bargaining property priorities. The filing later read, an additional initial drafts of the proposal sparked ire from the civilian adversary uh, CPC, which last week unanimously rebuked an early revision or an early version of the mayor's proposed path forward. Other local advocacy groups including the American Civil Liberties Union of Washington, were, have also expressed concern. And Thursday's filing is unlikely to quell that anger. The CPC argues that the contracts recently negotiated with the city and its two largest police unions rolled back a landmark policy accountability law passed by the Seattle City Council in 2017. To win back Robart's uh, approval, the group has argued the city should bring the contracts into line with that ordinance. And I will look that up and let you know what that ordinance really is when I get a chance. It says here, but the commission's view, Durkin's hiring of consultants ignores the work the group already did on the 2012 Police Accountability Bill. Those concerns were echoed by three members of the Seattle City Council, Lisa Herbold. Teresa Masquade and uh, Lorena, Lorena Gonzalez. Uh, comparing Seattle's disciplinary and appeal system to those of other cities, 
while interesting exercise is not particularly helpful on not particularly helpful or on point right now, the CPC says. In a letter last week, responding to an initial draft of the proposed path forward, through a years-long process, Seattle stakeholders identified, advocated for, then secured an accountability law, many essential elements to fair and legitimate systems. Now, I'm going to say this. And I'm going to say it loud, and I'm going to say it clear. Blue Bloods, Tom Selleck, New York. Yes, it is a police show. I get that. It is a show. But if you want to know what a good police accountability system is, you need to watch that show and take notes. Because that show shows you exactly how a police department should be run. That show shows you exactly how a police commissioner or chief should be. That show shows you how you are supposed to deal with the citizens of your city and treat the citizens of your city. It also shows you how you should deal with people on your force, other officers on your force, that are like the guy that just got fired and rehired, Adley Shepard. Blue Bloods, watch it. Take notes. That is all you need. Any police department in the whole United States should watch that show and take notes, and that's how you should strive to be. You should strive to be as up and on board as that TV show. I understand you got real criminals to deal with, and they don't. I get it. But you can deal with the criminals and get the bad guys off the street, keep the people accepting you as police officers, and they will have faith in you if you act in good conscience and faith like blue bloods. Anyway, I'm going to let you go on that note. I'm getting very frustrated, and I don't talk well when I'm frustrated. Heck, I hardly talk well now, (laughs) as it goes. But anyway, if you like my videos, please put a thumbs up. If you want to be a part of all of this, please subscribe so you can get new videos. Uh, If you have an idea for a video that can make it better, please give me an idea in the comments below. Also, if you have a better idea of how I can make this video more palatable, please put a comment. If you think I should be carried away by a tornado and lost out in the sea, please put that in the comments too. I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, this has been All Things Considered. Have a good night, Seattle, America, and all points beyond.